Okay, where is the bird? It's uh, her, and her name is Oliver. Oh, we got your gloves. No, we don't need to. We need a towel, if nothing else. She stopped eating, and I noticed a little lump on her belly. It kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Okay, let him out. Glenn has macaws. Watch out, don't get bit, because no. it's nervous already. And yes, I do the birds around the clinic here, because I'm not afraid to handle those big beaks. Step up. Come on, baby. Yeah. I should go in defense mode now. Come here. OK, good. I used to run a pet store. She was brought to me as an abused bird. That is your aunt. I took her in, and uh, I'm hoping for good news. I've had her for a long time. I don't want to lose her. OK, this is a water belly. Water belly that is part of the leukosis complex where the virus causes water in the belly, really. Water belly, or ascites, occurs as a result of excess stress on the bird's heart and lungs. I've seen a whole bunch of chickens with it lately. It's an infection in the belly. There's water in there. It can lead to a buildup of fluid in the liver, which leaks into the abdomen. This one was very soft and squishy. There was a lot of fluid in there. Local antibiotics don't work. Oral antibiotics work like a charm. OK. Antibiotics do not help for the viral infection, but it does help for the secondary infections. What we try to do is try to get that fluid out, get the secondary infection under control. See, that wasn't so bad. Hopefully, the bird will survive the viral infection that's there and live a happy life. You'd be mad at me the rest of the day, ain't you? I feel great that it's good news. That much. Very little bit. <laughs> I can see those. I'm going to take her home. Thanks. Take care. Start the antibiotics and see what happens in two weeks. And no changes. She'll be right back here again. <laughs>